I saw the angel standing there. Stand up, lady. I want you to f don't eat anything. I'll prophesy more in the evening. But when I, 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 I was looking at you, the Spirit of the Lord ministered to me that I saved you for a reason. And there was a death angel that was sent from the heaven to affect you and to take your life before time. I saw fire from you going to the men wearing glasses at the back there. And when I saw the fire going to the men wearing glasses, I saw him praying for you, crying because this is like you are in a hospital. And I saw him praying and seeking the Lord. And I saw the death angel being removed. And I saw life entering in you. I saw, I saw, I saw in the realm of the spirit an angel by the name Mika holding your throat. It was holding you here. And I saw the anointing of healing flowing in your body. The Lord says you will not die, but you shall live and declare the works of the living God. Amen. There is something that God is doing for both of you, I don't know how you are connected, but there's a blessing that is coming to you. Oh, you're married. It's your wife. Uh, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, bless the Lord. Uh, there is a blessing that is coming in your lives. I see letter R spinning in the heavens. And I saw an O spinning in the heavens. I see something like a D. It's, it's your last name. Yes. In the realm of the spirit, a door has been opened for both of you. The Lord says, I saved you for a reason. You are going to lay your hands on the sick and they shall be healed. Yeah. You are going to function in healing. What I did for you, you shall do it for many people. I'll do my healing through you to many people. Prepare yourself for the next move that I'm about to release over your life. I'll bless you and I'll increase you. I'll increase your substance. Favor is coming to your house. A door has been opened for both of you. The Lord says, go ye therefore and preach my gospel to four corners of the world. It's not like you'll be standing on the pulpit preaching and shouting like we do. But I see you touching lives, individual lives, speaking to one person, another person, one person. I see you healing the sick. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. The anointing of Jehovah God is upon you. And the Lord says, no weapon form that against thee shall prosper. My blessing is upon you. My anointing is upon you. You and my grace will never depart from your house, says the Spirit of the living God. I'm looking at you in the realm of the Spirit. Lift up your hands. I'm looking, I'm looking at you in the realm of the Spirit. I'm seeing wood. I'm seeing timber. I'm seeing timber. I don't know why I'm seeing timber. The Lord says you shall begin to invest in, in exporting timber from one place to another place. There's something about construction that God is going to release over your life and there's a special door he's opening opening for you. The Lord says it is through investment that I'll increase your substance. I see you investing. I see you spinning numbers. I see things happening. The Lord says my blessing is upon you and uh, because of your prayers I'll use you to intercede for many. I'll yeah. use you to be a blessing to many. Prepare yourselves in prayer and in fasting. I'm opening a door for you says the spirit of the living God. So we're so happy to have you with us here tonight and we know that this morning was a really special morning for the two of you as you received a prophetic word that we know has brought a change and a solution to your lives. So as we've heard the word of prophecy that was given, can you just confirm this word of prophecy to be true? Uh, yes, it's been about three and a half years ago that my wife was diagnosed with a uh, cancerous inoperable brain tumor on the right side. And not too long ago, you know, we're trying to figure out how to take care of this and Chemo, radiation wouldn't do much, so we're still, you know, discussing it. And I've been praying. It was three days ago where I said, Lord, something's got to happen. I said, we've been praying and crying before you. I said, I need to know what you're doing. You know, I said, Lord, I'm being honest. You know, I said, Lord, just, I mean, hey, I've, I've, I've got to know what are you up to. You know, I, I'm afraid. I was, you know, I'm very fearful. I said, Lord, I said, I'm, I'm, I don't want to lose my wife. I said, Lord, we just started. Come on, you know. I said, we just, you know, you've called us to do something. You know, I said, and what you've called us to do, we're going to do it because I'm coming. Your word says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, you know. 
And, and uh, with what the man of God said today was just, I, I don't know if I want to jump or run around right now. You know, I don't know if I want to cry or what, but I know that God is good. Come on. Come on. So the man of God mentioned that it was actually your prayer that caused the angel of death to loose its grip over your wife's uh, life. And you mentioned that she had been struggling for three and a half years with a brain tumor and that it's been causing constant pain in your family, fear, you know, that you're even facing like whether I'm if whether my wife is going to be around tomorrow or not. So now that you've heard that word of the Lord, what can you say now about your situation? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, what can you say, right? I mean, you wouldn't mind if I just take a couple of laps around the church? No, I'm just saying, you know. All I can say is we're excited because we know that God does answer prayers, amen. And when you come before the Lord, you know, I, I'm a believer in provoking the hand of God. I believe it, you know. And, and it wasn't but three days ago when I was, and I'll share this experience with you. You know, I was saying, questioning the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't know what's going on, man. You know, in my prayer time with the Lord, I said, Lord, I need you to move. You've got to do something, you know. And the Holy Spirit said slowly, he said, hey, boy. He said, do me a favor. Don't listen to the devil. Don't question your God. He said, you just worship me. And I kid you not, as I started to worship three days ago, all I know is when I woke up, I was on the ground, you know. And I ran to the living room. I told my wife, you're not going to guess. what I mean, hey, I've got to tell you what happened. I said, I don't know. I, I, I left or whatever happened. You know, in my prayer time, I said, the Lord, you know, when the word says in Psalms 91, the shadow of the Almighty, I said, something came down. I said, and I believe that it was the Lord. I said, something's going to happen, you know, and here we are today. Amen. Here we are today. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So Pastor Sam, he also mentioned to you that he sees you doing investments with timber and different kinds of construction uh, projects and things like that. So what can you say about that? <clears throat> um, I mean, we do real estate, you know. So I said, Lord, whatever timber construction has got, I said, bring it on, you know. <laughs> I said, I, you know, what, Lord, I said, Lord, you, you've been saying this for a bit. I said, Lord, you know, we're ready. We're ready to take our next step. I said, Lord, just, uh, uh, you know, I'm excited about what God is doing. And, and it's funny because my wife's the business one. You know, I, I've always just done survey construction work, you know, and uh, ever since this happened, well, I had to leave work to, to work with her. You know, now that the Lord's been showing us how to do certain things, showing me how, how the business works through her, I said, Lord, I said, I think we're ready. You know, and, and God has been opening doors. Uh, you know, we're going. I'm believing that God's going to do some incredible things. And, and through it, you sow the seed. Amen. And in sowing that seed, the Lord says, all right, son, uh, now you got it. You got it. You know, and in that we've seen blessings, blessings after blessing after blessing. Even in those difficult times where we had nothing because of the sickness, we had money coming in from different people. We had no idea who it was from. You know, he carried us for months when we had nothing because of the hospital visits and because of all the mess going on. And I kid you not. I don't know if you know the Walmart to Walmart. I kept getting calls to, hey, bro, you know. Uh, can you go to Walmart? There's, there's money there for you. I said, really? I'd go there. Someone sent 1500 Someone else sent 1000 Someone else sent 1500 2000 It's the Lord. And the Lord said, hey, because you've been faithful. We've been faithful. He said, hey, my children don't beg for bread. Come on. Amen. And praise God. Praise God for that. Amen. Praise. Hallelujah. We truly serve a miracle working God. And Lorena, we just want to ask you really quickly if you can just come closer. Lorena, when you heard that word of God today that that angel of death is gone and that your life has been saved for a purpose and that God is going to use you in the four corners of the earth, how did that make you feel? And what can you say now about the future? You know, you were battling this, this uh, brain tumor for so long, but God has come and said, you have a future and I'm going to use you mightily. How has that, that changed you on the inside just hearing that word today? Like refreshing waters. Like being walking in the desert, you know, it's just amazing. It feels just like, I mean, I just can't express to you how grateful I feel towards the Lord, knowing that um, I have the Lord has extended my life and being able to feel that I will be able to see my grandchildren grow and be able to teach them the Lord, you know, God's word and be able to be there for them. 
and to know that um, the grace is upon them and to carry on and be there for them. And it's just amazing. I can't express to you the, the gratefulness that I feel. And it's like, thank you, Lord. That's what I needed to hear, encouragement from my Father in heaven. So, yes. Amen. And Lorena, now that you have received that word of prophecy, what can you say is your advice to people who may be here because they have a need or something is going wrong in their life? How can you encourage them? You just can't give up. I know there's times that you want to give up and there's the enemy will push you to want to give up and you feel like you just got to give up. But don't give up. I, I mean, it just it feels awful. We've been there. You feel like giving up, and you just don't give up. You cannot give up. The Lord is there. Trust in the word. That's what you have. Trust in the words. Don't stop believing. Amen. Amen. Well, we believe with you that Jesus Christ is going to perfect his miracle in you today in Jesus' name. And we know that you're going to be ministering all over the world, and we can't wait to see you guys do it and be with you guys. In Jesus. Hi there. If you're like me and you like to click on things, go ahead and click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this way, we'll be able to send the content to you directly. And each week you'll stay updated with the things that we post. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.